Uh, my name is Alan Cox. Thank you for showing up. Say hello to Bill Squire, who's right over there. Hey, creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of The Alan Cox Show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share a cold one with the boys. You sound better. Trying you, to get better. Do you better. feel better? Yeah, I feel great. Like, I felt good all week. Yeah. Like, it, it, I feel fine. It's just uh, there's a lot of mucus in my membranes. Yeah. So. All right. Speaking of membranes, uh, Mary <laughs> Santora is out. Gwen is sitting in today. Hi. Hi. And Pound Cake is back behind the glass. Afternoon, white people. Oh, we're the last <laughs> time. <laughs> Our last live show of 2021, which uh, usually I, I coincide it with my anniversaries here at WMMS. And today is my 12th anniversary uh, here at the Buzzard. A dozen years, I believe is what the kids call it. A dozen years. December 16th, 2009. It was me and Chocolate Charlie in here. Because they were terrified to have a new guy and to not have someone with him that people already knew and recognized. That's how radio works. Well, we got to have somebody that's, that people know, do you? Because it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Fast forward to 12 years later. And, uh, yeah, whatever. So, uh, Mary Santoro will return uh, to us in uh, 2022. And... Um, uh, I have uh, two nights in a row. I don't even know if you know this. Two nights in a row, I have awakened at 4.44 a.m. and been unable to go back to sleep. I'll wake up, I'll look at my phone, 4.44. You're bewitched. Do you know what that is? What is that? The mark of the beast? N- no. You're not that cool. Oh. Indigestion. Oh. Four <laughs> times three is 12. <clears throat> You've been here oh. 12 years. Well, how do you account for yesterday that happening? I mean, this morning you could maybe make the case of some kind of 12. wizardry. Go- <laughs> some kind of wiz- <laughs> wizardry years. going on. But well, we, um, we live, we moved here more than 12 years ago. You, you I think we moved tw- here on the 14th. 12 years and a couple of weeks before. Yeah, sure. Or something. Something like that, yes. Twelve, and, uh, 12. Four times three. Mm. Right. Uh, so, well, okay, well, that maybe that accounts for something. But I don't know. Uh, 444, I don't know. I woke up, and I go, oh, well, I have to stay up now because I can't go back to sleep. And so that's what I did, and I started preparing for today's program. I had a dream that I was getting berated by Paul Giamatti, so mm-hmm. same thing. Yep, same thing. Was he playing uh, the late Kevin Matheny as he did in uh, the Howard Stern film Private Parts? No, he was somebody's uncle. You know, that guy used to be, he, he preceded me, but that guy used to be here. The guy that was a pig virus in the old Howard Stern days used to be the big boss here at iHeart uh, Cleveland when it was still Clear Channel. A guy named Kevin Matheny, who has since passed away. I think he got a job in Detroit after he left here. But like Bo Matthews was the guy who hired me here. And Kevin Matheny was the guy who hired him and so Matheny was already gone. It was Keith Abrams. They called him Sass Keith when he was here. He was the guy who hired me. Uh, Kevin Matheny was already gone. Um, but my understanding, he sent me a couple of nice notes after I came to Cleveland that he was a fan of my work. But I never physically crossed paths with uh, Kevin Matheny, who was played by Paul Giamatti in the film <laughs> Private Parts. Cool. Right? Right? Listen! <laughs> Uh, what do you want? That's the story I've got. Four I don't have any... times three uh-huh. is 12. Mm. All right. Well, you might be onto something there. Happy I'll take your thoughts. Well, I was going to say 12 minus two, or 12 divided by two is six. And then there is one, two, and 12. So two sixes, that's 12. And then... Oh, I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm trying to follow along. You should have went to him before that Paul Giamatti the, big virus the three, thing. Uh, the three fours. Is oh, much I was going to say, and then the two plus the one, that's three. So three six is six, six, six. Bam. It just took me a minute to do oh. my own math. Mm. See, that's what I started with, but that wasn't... Uh, <laughs> Right, that wasn't uh, the three sixes. wasn't uh, laying out the way that I had Maybe hoped. Maybe it's the sign of a different beast. Mm. Why is it? Yeah, why is it? Which like beast be one is that? Beast? I don't know. Oh, well, like a, like a Wendigo or something. So happy birthday, Gwen! Thank you. It's and then not what? my tomorrow. birthday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. tomorrow's your tomorrow. Birthday? Tomorrow's your birthday. Today. Nope. No, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. I, I thought you had it the same day as my dad. But no, it's today, the day well, after. Today's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday to him. Happy but anyway, birthday, Dad. Uh, you're. I was gonna say, what what's your like sign 
like your Chinese New Year sign or whatever. Like you're the rat. I think I'm you're the dog. I don't know. Maybe, if maybe I we could know. tie something like that into this whole conspiracy oh, thing. Oh, should I? You should have told me before I would have looked it up. I'll tell you something. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Another example of how you can never judge a book by its cover. I mean, sometimes you can. Let's I be real. Sometimes pick you absolutely can. Most of the books can. I read by their covers. Do you? Yeah. There were. Uh, there's a bunch of guys on the floor who've been moving furniture today because you know we're slowly getting out of here and they're sealing off one half of this whole floor. So they're just uh, this moving guys were here. And as I was walking down the hall earlier, there were these two guys. You know, sweatshirts, moving company, whatever. You know, just beards, that kind of look. Young dudes, right? And uh, the one guy goes uh, to the other one. He goes, uh, when's yours? I'm coming mid-conversation. When's yours? And he goes, September. And he goes, what's that? And he goes, Virgo. These guys were talking about their zodiac signs. And I was like, wow, I would have never looked at those guys and thought, yeah, they're into a bunch of dumb crap. But So you can never judge a book by its cover. You can never look at somebody and assume that you uh, know what they think. Or how they feel. You don't know that they're into a bunch of dumb crap. Two dudes talking about their zodiac signs. So what? Yeah. Yeah. Cosign. Have you ever <laughs> talked about your zodiac sign and you didn't care? But like Bill and I, when we're in the office, I mean, we don't talk that much. But, you know, we save it for when the red light's on. But if we did, you'll never find the two of us talking about our zodiac signs. But you don't know what was brought up before that. You don't know. You can't judge a reactionary question. You're making my point for me. You can never judge a book by its cover. Now, if they have been talking about, like, the date on which one of their parents had been murdered brutally... Yeah, like that Batman. Would be, yeah, like Batman. That would be pretty wild. <laughs> Anybody know Bruce Wayne's Zodiac sign? You'll notice they never discuss that in any of the Batman films. I don't even think that's part of the canon, is that they don't know what his Zodiac sign was. I'm sure there's a way to find out what Bruce Wayne's birthday is. And what the corresponding zodiac sign is. Yeah, there is a way. And one of those two guys could have been Bruce Wayne. I was gonna say a random superhero, oh. but he could. Yeah, he's way cover. older than I thought. Uh, April seventeenth, nineteen fifteen. That's when Bruce Wayne was born. <laughs> That's the date of birth for wow. the Wikipedia. Yeah. Wow. April twenty fourth. April seventeenth, nineteen fifteen. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Batman is 106 years old. Very old. Be careful on the April Fool's jokes. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I've got to take a break, uh, and we'll uh, put together whatever we can. In the meantime, I'll have uh, more passes for you for The Matrix Resurrections. We're doing a, uh, an advanced screening of that on Monday night. It's in theaters on Wednesday. And then I'll have Bill Burr tickets for you later on. He's going to do a show in April. Perhaps we can get him to celebrate um, Bruce Wayne's birthday when he's here uh, in <laughs> April to play the Romo Fijo. All those tickets for you later on. If you want to text for anything, 35192 to do that. And we'll be back after these. <laughs>